All right, let's go to our social media check-in with our questions from our YouTube and Facebook feed. Donna Thompson asks, hi, Bran, Brad. Donna from Jamaica. My son did his biometrics last Wednesday. How long do you think it will take for a work permit? I have no crystal ball, but my guess is at least three to four months. Marlon asks, blessings, Uncle Brad. If a person makes a mistake on the DS-160 and after realizing canceled the application, can this still count as misrepresentation? Mm, I don't think so, but I would need to know specifically what's going on. Bemalika Arawola asks, hello, Uncle Brad. How long would it take to get my work authorization travel document if one sibling who is a U.S. citizen filed for another uh, forever, lifetime? You're not getting it anytime soon, at least a generation. And you're not likely going to be able to adjust your status or any way at the end. So at this point, forever. Duan Fisher. Hi, Brad. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I keep checking the visa bulletin. Good. My daughter's priority date is October 9th, 2015, but the bulletin seems to be stuck on September 22nd, 2015. She's in Jamaica. Yeah, it's going to probably be stuck there until October. Come October is the new government year. That's when new green cards are issued. So it'll probably be stuck for July and August and September, and then probably push up in October of this year. Jessica Limi, Mrs. Joelle Davis. Uncle Brad, could a U.S. citizen spouse get more than one RFE based on the R-130? Absolutely. M. Jose T.A., can I send my medicals before I receive the RFE to the NBC? No. If you submit anything before you get the RFE, that medical is going into a black hole. Wait until you hear from them. I'm a resident of Canada. Do I need a visa to come to the U.S.? Yes, you do. Only citizens don't need visas. Akif, do you think any immigration reform this year? Fingers crossed. I hope so. Terry, hi, Brad. Can a J-1 student extend their visa if you do not have a two-year home residence requirement? Yes. Well, even if you have a two-year home residence requirement, you can extend on a J for sure, but you can't change to any other status unless you have get a waiver or you don't have a two-year home residence requirement. El Mazuka Dichi, hi, Brad. My friend's daughter is 21, U.S. citizen born, but the father came illegally. He needs to go to his country or can he stay here to adjust? Well, if he came illegally, he would not be able to adjust his status here. And if he went home, he has a 10-year bar, so he needs a consultation. Doi G. Ajayi. I had material misrepresentation in 2011. I reapplied with my family in 2017, but advised to reapply with a waiver. I'm in the UK now. Do I still need a waiver to apply for other countries after 10 years? You don't need a waiver for any other country but the U.S., but you have a permanent bar to the U.S., and you will always need a waiver until you get a green card. Christofina Sell. Brad, I don't want to attend my I-130 interview. Will it affect my VAWA? I'm tired of the constant humiliation, insults, disrespect, and financial abuse. Well, I think you should file a VAWA and convert your case. And as soon as you file a VAWA, your husband is off the case. And if you get an interview, you go alone. Catherine Trashita. I have a case with USCIS we submitted nine months ago. We haven't heard back. If I hire you, can you help expedite the process so my husband and I can go back to his country in Italy? You certainly can help. Yes, absolutely. Dorothy Connie. I have a case with USCIS, but they denied it because I've stayed over my six months time period that I got in the country. Can you guys help me? I would need to know more, but you certainly need a consultation. That's for sure. Is there a parole for nonviolent aggravated felon deported from USA 17 years ago? No, there is no parole for nonviolent aggravated felon. Simone Merchant. Good evening, sir. Brad, can a minor travel on a visitor's visa while filing in process? Yes, but there's always a problem at the airport, but generally, yes, but I can't give you a 100% guarantee because it's really dependent on who you see at the airport. Shawnee, good day. I was denied the N-400 two times because of not having enough time in the country. What's my option? Have enough time in the country, Shawnee. That is 30 out of 60 months physically in the U.S. No trip more than six months in the last five years, 90 days living in the state where you file. Get enough time and then redo it. No other way around it. KK, is it true you have to go back home if married to a green card holder or a citizen? Depends on how you came. It depends on if you're in legal status. Abir Saha, I landed to the USA with CR1 marriage-based visa. When I landed, USA marriage already crossed two years, one month. So my question is, which green card will I get? A 10-year green card. Congratulations. Brandon Chen, I was deported back to Jamaica after they canceled my visa at the airport and I returned one year later and crossed the border illegally. Now I'm here. I'm planning on marrying my girlfriend, which is American. You got a problem because you re-entered after a prior deportation without permission, that's committing a crime. Certainly don't admit it in live show. You need a lawyer. 
Maria, I recently got married and my U.S. citizen spouse has refused to file taxes, so I can't file my adjustment status. Hasn't filed since 2014. He's mean and heartless. One of my options, file an abuse case if he's mean and heartless and get rid of him. Hair genetics. I'm a Jamaican citizen, Dominican Republic with my 10-month-old daughter, also a U.S. citizen that was born and raised in the Dominican Republic. I want to visit Jamaica, but my U.S. partner don't want me to carry my baby. Well, you need to get full legal custody of the child. It's the only way you can get a U.S. passport for the child. I think that's your question. Jolie, hi, my husband is a U.S. citizen. I'm a green card holder. We want to adopt our nephew who's under 16, living in a convention country. Can we be eligible to adopt or both of us must be U.S. citizens? No, one of you is a U.S. citizen is more than enough to do the adoption. Camille, I guess. I'm married to a green card holder. Can I still concurrently file an I-130 and I-45? If, only if you're in legal status. Sani Sani. At Brad Show Live, hi, Uncle Brad. Can a minor child come to the U.S. for schooling while waiting on their I-130? Or should they have filed as a student and adjusted status? I don't know who's filing, Sandy, so I would need to know more information. Sharon, love me some. Me, Pemberton. Hello, Mr. Brad. I got a work permit card, but they did not have my travel document. And the reason was I came without being inspected, but that's not true. My I-94 is with my 44 documents. Why would USCIS come to that untrue conclusion? Obviously, they made a mistake, so you probably will need help if it's an untrue conclusion. I don't, I'm not immigration, so I don't know what they're looking at. But if it's a mistake, then obviously we can fix it. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.